Welcome back guys to another episode of Organic Power. Today we're going to be covering array earthing. So I'll be showing you how we earth the rails and panels and the grounding and earthing system down in the off-grid shed. Stay tuned. Let's get into it. Got the tools and equipment ready for the earthing. Got our four millimeter squared equipotential bond. The earthing clamps and the panel clips to hold the cable. These solar earth clamps bolt directly to the rail. So they fit just like that. You do that Allen key up. And your earth wire goes into the other end there. And you top that other bolt. Clamps the copper in there securely. These solar earth clamps have a stainless washer that those little spiked holes there that bite into the aluminium face of the rail, providing good contact and low resistance. So both rails have got to be earthed. There's the lower one with the bracket on there. Now we add one to the top. Tighten that up in place and add the wiring. To prepare this four mil cable for termination, first I strip back double the width of the bracket about there. Score the insulation. And then just slide the sheath off. Twist these wires up. Double that over. So that's ready to terminate onto the bottom rail now. To relieve stress on the joint and also provide extra length if re terminating is required. I like to create a pig's tail with the cable. So I get a screwdriver and start wrapping this cable around it. About six or seven turns. There we go. Ready to be bolted up. I've fitted a panel clip there. And place the earth wire in the clip. Run the pig's tail over to the bracket. Put in the clamp. And I'll tighten that up and neaten up the rest of the cabling up to the other rail. This top rail has two wires going to it, so we twist these together and they go in the terminal 
and then get done up nice and tight. Those two earth cables are twisted up together now. Ready to go in the earth clamp. Tighten that up, neaten up the cabling, run that earth back into the roof. There's the earthing point on the lower rail. The four mil cable is clipped along the edge of the panel. We've got the two cables twisted together and terminated in the clamp on the top rail. And this earth tail runs up into the roof and that will tie into the cable that runs back down to the off-grid garage. All of these earthing points need to be painted. A nice zinc paint, 99% purity. That's what's recommended. I'll spray that up now. That's got a good coat of zinc on there now. So that'll slow down any corrosion. These stainless steel surface penetrating washers are used in between the panel and the rail. There's a couple of different styles. Let's get the one that suits your manufacturer's rail and panel. These have an inbuilt washer. And this style is just a washer that you put in wherever you need it. Each bolt to the panel, it's got to have one of these washers. So it creates a good earth bond between the panel and the rail. These little stainless steel holes have little teeth on them that bite into the aluminium once they're torqued down. There's one of the earthing washers up in there. This is under our main westerly array. Another earth clamp. A four mil liquid potential bond. So every array has an equipotential potential bond to each of the rails. It's very important. This westerly array has eight rails in it, so there's eight earthing points. This is that last little three panel section of the westerly. So another two clamps up here. These panels here are the easterly arrays. They catch the morning sun. They charge the battery really efficiently. 
get it done early in the day when it's nice and cool. To bond that new cable, I'll just do another soldered T joint here. I'll get my knife out, prepare this joint, and solder it. That's all stripped off ready. I'll put the joint together now. I finished the T joint now. I'll just coat that with a little bit of solder. So I used my little blowtorch and a bit of uh, two mil solder. coated that joint up now. I'll cover it with a bit of tape and then put a cable tie on the end of the tape so that it secures everything in place. That's the bonding of the new easterly array. The 16 panels. All complete now. I'll take you down the shed and show you where these earth bonds connect into the system. All of the earth cables from the arrays come back down here to the garage. They terminate into the main switchboard. I'll take the cover off now and have a look. Inside the main board, we have all the earth wires to the arrays. The earth bars also tied in to the neutral bar. That bypasses the ground breaker inside the inverters. I want a solid connection between my neutral and earth. A 6 mil earth runs into the negative link from the earth bar. So that keeps the earth and the negative at the same potential, which is zero volts. Here's the most important part of the earthing system. This is the main earth stake. Down outside the shed. It's a copper sheathed steel rod, 1200 millimeters long, driven into the earth. The earth has got to be open to the elements so the rain can dampen the soil, providing a good earth. So six mil cable goes straight back to your main earth bar. Okay guys, that's the end of another episode. Another beautiful day here. Clean energy is just pumping in. Like and subscribe. This really helps me out. I can keep creating uh, more content. Bring more tips and information. So thanks for joining us. And we'll see you in the next episode. Take it easy.